little med suit. Nice to meet you. Andy. Andy, all right. Uh, do you mind if I set everything up? Go for it. Put this down. Yeah, thank you for meeting with me. I know that you are a very busy man, but uh, glad that we uh, have the time to uh, talk. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. It sounds like you uh, got a great product you're pitching me. Okay, yeah. Um, so, a little uh, of what I want to talk about. Um, I want to know a little bit more about your business. I've done some previous research, but I'd like to really know what you think about it from your perspective. Um, we'll go through some problems that you're facing, and then I'm going to see if uh, NetSuite has the capability to solve those problems. Cool. Cool. All right, so um, you are a moving company, right? We are. Uh, so you deal a lot with uh, customers, I'm assuming, right? We do. So are there any problems, like since you're a service company, are there a lot of problems that you face with that? So we have, we do have issues, um, as with every company, and um, just dealing with the different uh, customers that we have. We do a lot of different types of moves, so you mm -hmm. can imagine that we're trying to balance, you know, the locations and the residential versus commercial. And we have some issues with some of our supply, you know, supply management um, software and just the warehouses there. And then we also have some, you know, issues with the customer service, and that's, you know, that's a real shame because that's something we we pride ourselves in. So. Um, those are just mm -hmm. a couple of the areas I think that we probably... Okay, well you touched on customer service at the end. Um, you said that you pride yourself on customer service, so are there a lot of issues with customer service? So, our biggest problem at the moment is just um, keeping track, or going back to the customers that we've already served. So after we've moved somebody, you know, we have, you know, different moves and different orders that we have to fill, so it's kind of hard for us to go back mm -hmm. and... Um, keep track of, you know, if it went well, did everything get unpacked, what was broken. So it's really like we're, we're always moving forward, so it's hard for us to go backwards and uh, just like receive all the calls. And since the owners are usually making the calls to the customers, it's, it's, it's really hard for us to just keep track of everybody and really respond to everybody mm -hmm. in a timely manner. So you, you say that you make the calls yourself? So all the... the we group? do. The owners do. There's several of us. But. Okay. So is it like time consuming to make all those calls? And how do you, how do you keep track of who you need to call at what point? So right now, um, we sort of have an Excel-based system where we keep track of the customers that we've had, and mm -hmm. um, we try to divvy it up by you know diff the different owners, but um, it, it's really not a great system at the moment. Like I said, we miss people, or we you know never get around to it, or we miss emails, so it's it's not great. And like I said, we, we really want to um, find a way to fix that just because of you know, that is one of the things that we say that we pride ourselves in. So customer service. So do you have you lost because of the issues with customer service? Have you lost customers? I, I definitely think that. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say just because um you know the turnaround time for customers isn't exactly very long. You know, it's it's a pretty long time if they're moving into a residential area. Uh, We're probably not going to talk to them. We, we don't. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. We don't know when they're going to move out of their house. So, or I mean, some of the commercial units we might have a better idea, but. Uh, it's definitely possible that we've lost some customers that way. I know we've had some um, bigger issues in the past, and we've probably lost some bigger clients that way. Um, but mm -hmm. again, it's kind of hard for us to really know just because we're not doing a great job of keeping track of them. So mm -hmm. it's hard. So keeping track of customers is one thing that you really want to focus your attention on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I think you mentioned in the phone call with Tony that uh, really is what piqued my interest is just keeping track of them. The customers, yeah. yeah. I mean, if a service industry definitely needs customers. I mean, that's how you work. Okay, and then I heard supplies. Do you have issues with supplies? Like, what what is your inventory tracking like? So we have a big warehouse where we keep all of um, just the tape, the boxes, uh, and everything. And sort of when we hit like when we get below a certain level is when we order more stuff. But um, that obviously isn't a great system either, just because um, moves fluctuate week by week, and we never know you know how many we're going to do. So um, mm -hmm. sometimes we'll run lower than others, and we might not be able to fill an order just because uh, we don't have the supplies in the. Mm -hmm. In the warehouse. So when you say you hit a certain level, is it like a, a status of how many like orders you have and how many supplies you have, or is it like you just look at it and you're like, we need more of this, we need more? So we've been in uh, we've been operating a couple of years now, so we have a pretty good idea of what our our, our normal um, customer base looks like, mm -hmm. and it usually picks up a good bit in the spring. So we'll usually keep our warehouse levels at a little bit higher, but usually, like I said, it's just like. Um, a level of supplies. We don't really do it by the order base just because we have, mm -hmm. I mean, we have a good idea of what that is, but we base it more so mm -hmm. on like the actual supply. 
Okay, so have you had any problems? Like, as you said, spring is a big time. Is, has it been a problem, like, not having enough to fill the orders that you have? Yeah, so, like, yeah, spring is a really busy time, uh, you know, the spring yeah. cleaning, everybody's moving in, move out, out, so you got, yeah, um, sure. just with, you know, even, you know, college students moving in and out of dorms, and we might be helping them, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, there have been orders that we haven't gotten to just because of supply levels, and then just, we've just a lot run out of, you know, the ability to meet the need. Mm -hmm. um, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, and while I was on your website, um, good website by the way, um, I have noticed a lot of uh, ads are like you're not really presenting yourself very strong online besides on your website. Like do you have any way of like watching your marketing analysis or your statistics? Like how do you know exactly what ads you have and if they're working? So we have a Facebook presence and we okay. like to try to utilize that. Um, we, we don't really know how well that's working. Um, we, get, we have it out there and we, we're pushing it, but we have no real way of tracking how many people are actually responding or how many customers we're actually getting from it. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a couple of just signs that we put up, kind of like the, you know, vote for whoever signs or you know we put them yeah. outside of parks or outside of you know the, mm -hmm. the, the, in the entrance of the around. neighborhood yeah. or whatever so again we have different marketing techniques how effective they are how, how effective they are we're not positive mm -hmm. it's really hard to gauge where the customers are coming from and you know yeah. how exactly they heard about us i mean is it possible that you're spending too much on spending or too little on spending it's it's possible um where again it's it's hard for us to say just because we don't have a great way of figuring out where are the leads that we're finding are coming from or where the customers we're finding are coming from. Um, we're, we're working on you know finding a system that can we can indicate you know maybe they can indicate on it where you know where how they heard about us or something like that just so we like a like a survey or some exactly. sort to so, see yeah and, we, and we, you have you not tried that before we we just haven't had the infrastructure in place to do that mm -hmm. unfortunately yeah I'm sure okay. So I've heard, I've heard a lot. Um, I've done a little bit of research, and from what you've told me, I think the NetSuite can really help you um, and your company, because I know that you're growing and you want to grow, of course. Of course. Um, so I noticed the, the few things that I'd like to touch upon that I know NetSuite will specifically help you is your your customer service. Like you noticed like okay. that's really big, yeah, that's huge. and you don't want to lose you don't want to lose customers. Mm -hmm. so your service-based industry, customers are how you live. I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, your leads how you get those leads. Um, there's NetSuite has a few capabilities to be able to find out if what you're doing is working or mm -hmm. not. Like your face, face, are the Facebook leads helping or if they're not. Very cool. And then the last thing is inventory. Um, not having inventory, terrible. I understand how that, that could definitely lose business. If you don't have enough boxes, don't have enough tape, you mm -hmm. can't service your customers. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to open NetSuite and I'm gonna show you uh, how I can solve those problems for you. That'd be awesome. Okay. You have to give me a second for this to load up. It's an ancient laptop. Okay, so this is the NetSuite homepage. Um, there's a lot on this, but it's not all very specific to you right now. So I'm going to make sure, I want to try to figure out problems that we can solve, and everything else is just a bonus. Okay, so the first thing we talked about is the su your supplies. So if you go to the reports tab, you can look at your inventory items and the items pending fulfillment. 